Hey everyone, how are you going? Uh, we're going fishing. Bit of a bit of a mission today. We've um, we're up at I know some stupid godly hour. Two fifty nine. Well, we've actually been up since two o'clock packing up. Um, we're going on a serious mission, so let's go. We'll take you for a spin, and uh, yeah, hopefully get some fish. If you haven't already guessed, we are in paradise. We're in Exmouth. Um, bit of a different fishing mission. Flew in, uh, flew in yesterday. Got here at 7:30, um, and yeah, really good flight. Didn't get a chance to go for a fish yesterday. Mainly just a bit of an explore around, and we brought the brought the, uh, the parents up here to give them a bit of a look around. And um, 
yeah, I'm just down at Bundigi Flats now, just about to uh, throw a little storm zig stick around. Let's see how we go. It's uh, 20 past five in the morning, the sun's not quite up yet. But, um, yeah, it's just paradise. Love this place. Rightio, so there's the lure. Little floating stick boat. There's, um, there is heaps of reef around here, so, and tides up, so it's only going to be shallow, so we're just going to, uh, chuck a little floater out and see if something's going to woof it. Daiwa Generation Black um, little light stick bait rod with a Daiwa Surtate reel. Go out here, this little peak, and a few flicks. Wind's blowing straight across at the moment, so it's hard to get the cast in, but there's a little queenie buzzing around or anything for that matter. Yep, straight on. Woo. Take it in the rocks there. That little little cleaning, I reckon. Have to walk down there, I think. Small. Oh. Now I don't have a foul hooked him or what's going on, but uh, he's hardly even hooked. Must be just unlucky. Sharp little bugger. Well, there you go. Lucky day today, mate. I'll stay down here and have a bit of a flick, I think. There's a fair bit of action down there.
There you go, mate. What are you doing? Don't run out in front of this car, mate. Won't be real good for you. What happened, Mr. Drifter? Righto, mate. See you later. As you can see, these turtle tracks must have come up last night. This time of the year is um, is time of the year when the turtles come up and lay their eggs. But I reckon they might have struggled up here with these rocks. See where he's come, he sort of come up here, realised he was in the wrong spot. Thought, she's a bit hard here to dig. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fair bit of action out there. There's splashes and so forth. Nice little surf break just out here. Quite often you see people surfing. Not really sure which, which is the best way to work these lures yet. Um, bit of a twitch, slow retrieval or a fast retrieval. I find most of the hookups that I get are with um, just a just a medium steady wine. A lot of people twitching and, and working them hard, but I don't know. Just seem to do better. Have more strikes anyway, just with a constant retrieval. I'm just going to show you the knot that I use for tying lures on. I just do one little uh, little knot like that, pass it through 
the eye, I should have a swivel on, but I've left them at the unit, so no swivel. Hopefully, uh, luck's on my side. Go around twice. And a bit of a lick. Put him tight. Seems to work well. Um, doesn't slip. Allows a lure to swim, swim properly as well, but yeah, like I say, I should be running a swivel. When I get back to the unit, I will definitely put some on, but we'll see how we go. I'll bite the little tag off a bit. Like so, and see how we go. That sun's in a good spot now, so. Tied new leader on, 30 pound leader. We go to um, try this little muscle shot, tilted colour. Bit of weight, they do sink. Just need to um, give them a bit of a faster retrieval, but we're gonna walk up the beach a bit. See if we get into some deeper water. She's a bit um, a bit shallow out here. We've just uh, been walking up the beach for a bit, come across these little turtle tracks. Well, I don't think they're little turtle tracks, but you can see up the back here they've been digging some holes, burying their eggs. I'm not going too close, don't want to disturb them, but. Jeez. They're everywhere up here, all these holes. Oh, there's a big girl just up here. Just throwing a bit of sand around, laying some eggs. I um, be real careful walking around these dunes. Make sure you don't stand on any nests, but it's pretty cool. I'm not going to go too close to her. That's so awesome. She's seen me. You're right, girl. Keep going. Tell you what, she's done some miles last night up here trying to find a spot. If you have a look at the tracks. Dunes there. Gee, she's done some miles. She must be exhausted. Oh, we'll leave her now. There she goes. Back at it again, having a breather. We'll let her be. But yeah, if you have a look where she's where she's been. It's a massive run. All at the back there. Makes you wonder how she'd be bothered digging after all that. At the back of the dune over that little mound. Right up there. She's going right up, right up there, around that, back this way, and back out here. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work.
there's more than her, just her tracks here obviously, but you can clearly see where she'd been. It's a huge effort. More turtle nests, we want to avoid them. Because odds are, there's eggs in there. Pretty safe walking where where she's walked maybe. We'll see. One of the awesome things about this place is you see so many different things, whether it's wild sharks, whether it's turtles, whether it's marlin busting up. Never gets old. Look at all these tracks here. It was a busy night last night. So I've just come down to Bundigi Flats, just gonna have a bit of a bit of a walk up the beach and have a bit of a flick, see if I can uh, score some queenies. Apparently there's a heap of queenies around here. Um, it's 40 degrees, hot as, so probably not jumping in for a swim, but yeah, as you can see, it's um, dead low tide like half an hour ago, so we're fishing the incoming tide. And um, see how we go. Hopefully, get some fish. If not, what a good place to catch no fish, eh? So I'm walking through these um, these little flats here, this shallow reef, and the water is hot. Seriously hot. It's like bath water. We're going to walk out to this edge of the reef out here and just uh, have a few casts. Little. Just letting everyone know also when you're walking on these reefs it's um, important to have some good footwear. That's my uh, footwear of choice. Nice and wide platform, minimal slippage, zero protection for the toes but it's alright. And number one, uh, number one footwear for sand. Like having a set of 35s on my feet. 
Have a bit of a flick over there and see if we can't entice them. It's either a queenie or a bonefish. change that lure to something that's a bit more floaty floaty I think all right <clears throat> Get a little storm zig stick floating floating stick bait so a bit uh, probably a bit better than this shallow stuff and just as I've been sitting here Tying that other lure on, the water's come up about two inches, so she's fairly humming in now. I'll tell you what, the coastline up here and the amount of shells and dead coral and other bits and pieces that wash up on the, on the beach is amazing. You could spend weeks and weeks going through this beach and still only see a fraction of what's what it's got to offer. The beach comb is paradise, I say. Tell you what, it's sort of awesome in the garden at home. Oh, I've got some something going on over here. Oh, they swim away from it, so whatever they are, they ain't queenies. Well, we've got a whole lot of little bait fish here coming past. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, you should be able to. Now what I'd like to be seeing is um, them getting chopped up by some angry queenies or were anything for that matter, but nothing seems to be hammering, hammering them. I might have a bit of a look around and see if there's anything on the outside, but... That will be cool to see. I wish I had a bit of a flick around anyway. So like a little school of hardy heads or something. Found all these little school of uh, hardy heads or bait fish. I'm just going to jump in and see if I can get some get some footage with them.